Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. <clears throat> uh, I was going through one of my client's uh, requirement and I was uh, going to use Expressions uh, Prisma on that. So uh, I have gone through into a lot of uh, YouTube uh, video and there are a lot of things you can do with Prisma but none of that uh, video completely tells you how to use it with express normal express that is what i am going to cover and i am going to cover quite a bit of uh, things here <clears throat> so first of all let us see i have uh, first i am running the prisma studio on my machine so on my project so this is my uh, database exactly these are all my database exactly okay so it has uh, all the details and uh, user has there is a, there are products okay so we are basically working with the blogs and the user now i have just created an express um js project express js project with prisma okay so let us first see what our api is doing blog all so it will gives you all the blogs okay if you just click on this it will give you the blogs okay blog single these are required in each and every day life of a developer if you are working on a uh, corporate success you know this kind of things required every day you need to fetch data you need to call the singles for during the edit so i have break down all this thing blog all block single block, block uh, specific fields so i only get the title and the description i do not get everything on the blogs blog user join if you click on this you can see the author has been joined with the blog which blog has an author the author has been joined with the blog exactly so i have one user because you can see in the user table i have only one record okay the blog join user selected so now in this previous one all the fields of that user are coming there so the password are also coming the email verifications are also coming i do not want that i only want the id name and email id because i do not want the password field to be shown on the front end part right okay now the blog create so in this section i will go and in the blog i will delete these two records okay i will delete all the records now i will go to the block create and send uh, so one block created okay uh, let us refresh one block has been created you can see the created timeline here the id is 10 okay the block is there so and so block create bulk so in the bulk so whenever we have an array of data we do not insert one by one we gather the data and insert it at once so this is what we are going to create block create bulk so if you click count is four coming and it does not return id neither in sql as a non in prisma so all the four data has been created one two three four one two three four so it should be like one this step changes yes one two three four and all are created at the time okay. now blog update so if you click on the blog update you can see just first uh, i want to see the blog update has an id uh, so i'm not making anything dynamic here and most of the time it's 10 i think 10 Just give it a 10 over here and if you click on update it will update the 10 id with an updated date so if you go and refresh there is no updated date you can see the updated date has been added to it okay the blog update menu is also the same scenario okay where you can update the things out the blog update is a multiple update and if you wanted to delete you can delete any of the data if you go in this 
you can easily ten data data ten and data ten it gives you return back and if you go and refresh data ten is gone back so this is very basic and this is required in our day to day life i do not know how much it's required in uh, are different but uh, as i as a as a developer uh, i know this kind of stuff is required in everyday life where you have to do a cloud operation where you have to do a lot of things so this is what i am going to uncover with the prisma and express and i'm purely using express and prisma i'm not using anything else in this tutorial okay so if i close this out it's all good now now let us jump into the code so as you can see i have using express and the body parts that you can use prisma client i am using and once you create the express app you create the prisma client as well and from there it's all is happening now this is very simple after creating this part it's all very simple it's simple route and you can just if you are using sequelizer you already know find many prisma.blog.find many await prisma.blog.find many it gives you all the data prisma.blog find unit where clause prisma.blog find unit where clause with a selected field join so include the author i will come to this part when i am going to go with the prisma schema find many where i user id is one and author is true we'll come to this part when the author is true and the selected id name and email id so this is the part where you can select it field user with the selected fields right okay block create it's very simple prisma dot block dot create and once you create the prisma instance everything is coming into the, your segment prisma your table name your model name dash that function dot that function it's very simple it's absolutely very simple nothing is there nothing so much complicated and uh, as a prisma as a ts uh, the system a lot of people think that prisma would be not be imported in the express like this it can be exported imported like this in prisma and in express js and it is working absolutely fine the prisma client is required for that so multiple now you can see how we data the skip duplicate is false so if you have duplicate you can true or false uh, that part as well create main update is simple where clause and the data again just the where clause and the data the block table name the model name the update the where clause and the table name the uh, block the update many where clause and the data but where clause has a content so if it if if when you are updating a data with a many so it should have content so if that contains so block text content text dot uh, zero then this tag all the information will be getting updated with this and this is very beautiful yeah this is beautiful done over here okay so it can be deleted you can delete this thing then <clears throat> i can see uh, here there is a plus sign so this is a new type of thing so it's not new in the state this is old but uh, we have not used it a lot of so we use parse thing to convert the id in a string into into integer thus uh, you can do it plus giving a plus sign that so it converts into an integer <clears throat> okay and now my same old uh, pattern of a port and starting with the things out here with the server open so how do you get started to get started uh, there is also a prisma schema that is also connected to everything uh, uh, my sql is the thing my models are here all things okay now i will come to this part as well for the relation but first i want to uncover the things up so how would you start a prisma project with express okay 
so i have created all the comments here okay so first of all is npm init yes then npm npm init and the project generated for the node.js npm install express npm install prisma npx prisma init data source mysql npm i prisma client this is the important okay npm prisma so after this after after five all the comments uh, the prisma project has been generated okay this is, has been generated now these are the things that are very important for the prism okay. so you have an existing database suppose you are working with a client and you have an existing database you are using sqlizer and wanted to change that uh, that project has not gone so far so you can wanted to change it to prisma so after doing all this you just create prisma db pool it will turn your database into schema so when you first generate this this is not going to come right this is not going to come you have to give prisma db pool that will generate the details uh, all the tables uh, once you connect it okay you have to connect it first with mysql that and you can see i have connected with mysql here if you go yeah you can see this is my table okay so this is connected to mysql now after connecting it to mysql you should connect uh, command prisma db pool and it will generate the schema for you okay so not the relation only the schema if you have a database relation it will also generate the relation but if you do not have a database relation it will not generate the database relation here we have to manually generate the relation for prisma generate so this is the most used command you should be using <clears throat> whenever you do a database changes suppose you there is another field you have added so deleted that or um, uh, block description tags and uh, another user okay some other field has been added you just go and run prisma db pool and it will automatically add that field into your schema you do not have to go manually type it out after changing this is the first thing the prisma generate this is very important whenever you change something in this file you should be calling two of the comments you should be calling two of the comments the prisma uh, validation and the prisma generate okay so uh, if you if you go if you go like this then if you go like this uh, once you change uh, here you should be calling prisma generate and then prisma validate prisma generate also validate but if you wanted to validate it first then you should do prisma validate first then prisma generate right that this out right this yeah and obviously this is a command that uh, is not related to anything but you can still so you already know if you are watching this video you already know that prisma has a inbuilt mysql like structure or a database like structure that can be seen so you can run the prisma studio and obviously you can see all the details in of your um of the table and once you generate the prisma generate prisma generate you can see i have a screenshot over here if you go and generate prisma then this will come you can see this import segment import uh, they are giving the command like import so you do not have to do that you can just use the prisma client as the system so this is how you can use prisma with express js and nothing else to get the features and functionality of the prisma and use the powerful uh, ORM uh, onto your project. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And obviously, I am going to add this um, uh, code on my uh, video description. Thank you for watching this video.